Hi, this is Ben with MakeUseOf.com, and today I'm going to show you a quick trick for clearing all the RAM on your iPhone. Now, as you might know, RAM is the part of your phone or computer that stores currently running programs. And normally, your iPhone does a perfectly fine job of handling the RAM for you. But at times, you might find it useful to clear all the RAM on your phone if you find that your phone is running sluggishly. So the tip for this is actually really easy. The only difference is if you were using an iPhone 10, and we'll go over that in just a second. So for any iPhone other than the iPhone 10, what you're going to want to do is hold the power button, until you see the slide to power off prompt and then once you do that just go ahead and hold the home button for a few seconds when you've held the home button for long enough you'll go back to your home screen and what you'll notice is if you double tap the home button to open up your recent apps and then you go to open an older app you'll notice that it has to reload that's how you know you did it right if it jumps right to where you were then you didn't clear the RAM properly and you'll need to do that again now what clearing the RAM does is it takes everything that you had open and it clears it out so when you double tap on the home button you'll open up this switcher all the apps you had open recently will still be there as shortcuts but they'll be restarted so you have to go back to them like we just mentioned now of course you can open up your phone uh, at task switcher and swipe up on apps to get rid of them uh, I see people do this kind of obsessively a lot of the time you do not have to constantly uh, double tap to open that switch and swipe away everything because what that does is it, it, it circumvents your phone's natural RAM management and it's just constantly killing apps that's not a good idea because let's say you open up your messages app to send someone a message and then you kill it and then 15 seconds later you open up the app again to send someone a message it would be like closing your browser every time you wanted to go to a new website it's just silly you don't need to do it unless your phone feels really sluggish this is a kind of a faster alternative to rebooting your phone now if you have an iPhone 10 uh, you don't have a home button so the process for doing this is just a little bit different so if you're on an iPhone 10 you want to open up the settings app and then go ahead and scroll down to general from general you want to open accessibility and then scroll down to the assistive touch uh, icon and what this does you want to turn that on what assistive touch does is it helps uh, people that have trouble using buttons or it helps if your phone has a broken button it adds this little shortcut onto your phone uh, that when you tap it you can uh, open Siri open the notification bar use it as a home button all kinds of different objects so you'll need to do this uh, if you have an iPhone 10 once you do that you can jump back two levels to the general tab scroll down and you'll see a shutdown prompt at the bottom this is just a little shortcut you can also hold the power Power button of course so once you tap shut down you'll obviously get the slide to power off screen from here go ahead and open up your assistive touch shortcut and then press and hold on the home just like you would on a physical home button give it just a few seconds and after a moment it should go ahead and clear the RAM and bring you back to the home screen just like you would on a normal phone so again you don't need to do this often this is just something that if your phone feels especially sluggish maybe you've been switching apps frequently or you haven't restarted it in a while uh, this can be a good thing to do just to kind of uh, clear out the RAM and get it get it going smoothly again but you definitely don't need to do this all the time uh, because your your iPhone manages the RAM just fine most of the time so we thank you for watching this tip if it, if it helped you please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and reviews of the latest tech and we'll see you in the next one